Hello, North Vegan here, back with another episode of War on the Sea. We had the uh, luck of discovering this Japanese submarine on the surface, steaming south of Guadalcanal, and I sent up a group of Avengers with rockets, and they are en route now to intercept this bad boy. There you can see the Avengers on the horizon here. Just barely. Just barely. They're, they're taking their fine sweet time. Oh, he's got his dive planes down. Uh-oh. He might get down by the time they get here. Oh, come on, guys. Yep. He saw them too soon. They're not going to get here in time. Well, they might. Oh, come on, guys. Get here. You can do it. He's submerging. Come on, men. Put the pedal to the metal. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him. Heck yeah. That was a solid hit. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at this. Very good hits. Very good hits. Oh yeah, she's sinking. <laughs> That's an excellent way to start an episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and RTB with those guys, and this guy is going to continue his search. I'm surprised we saw him on the surface, but you know, such as it is. We also have a contact up here with the Tambor, another light carrier battleship, two heavy cruiser, three destroyer, three merchant <laughs> task force. Why am I? Why is that all I'm seeing? Oh, and look at this! Another submarine sighting. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Lucky me. Can we get rockets on any of these things? Air Cobra? No. Nope. Lightning? You got rockets? Yeah. Let's get these uh, P-38 Lightnings, and we're gonna send them down and engage these guys as well. Wow, that is lucky. That is lucky. Sometimes whenever you first start the game up, uh, it just spawns the submarines on the surface. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's the ones with the rockets? These, these boys here. There they are. Okay. Let's get... Uh, well, I don't think all of them engaged here there we go now nah, they did two subs in one day nice Ooh, what what class of sub is this hold on let's see submarine top a class it, oh, it is a top a class okay interesting these must be new in the mod Oh, yeah. Get wrecked, noob. Oh, no. He got down. Yeah, he's, he got he got down before we could get to him. Darn. Darn it. Shucky darn. Okay, well, that's fine. We know there is a sub in the area. So, we'll have to be careful of that. We do have this task force coming up, the UK task force. Um... So, we'll have to keep an eye out on that. What? Why are you, why are you doing this? Alright, Tambor is going to engage this light carrier task force. Let's see if it's another Chitosi class. Got a bit of a problem here. The Tambor seems to have spawned up into the, the earth. Oh, there it goes. It fixed. It fixed itself. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's still not good, though. Because I won't be able to uh, to dive very far if uh... All right, I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn hard right. Yeah, there we go. Turn on your radar, please. Your surface radar. Too deep for radar. Um, no, you're not. Requires oh the timbre requires surfaced. Interesting. Okay, it's just the gato that uh, has the uh, 
the periscope radar. Interesting. Okay, well, that's different. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and turn up the speed a little bit. Let's get out to deeper water here, into the strait. I know uh, traditionally Gato was pronounced Gato by the U.S. forces. It, <laughs> it's a Spanish word for cat. The, uh, the submarine was named for the cat shark. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just people mispronouncing the word Gato. They saw the word gato and they thought it was short for gator, maybe. I, I don't know, but uh, obviously it's, it's supposed to be gato. It's like mispronouncing tortilla. It's like pronouncing tortilla, tortilla. I can't do it. I won't do it. Even if every single person in the entire world pronounces gato, gato, I, I'm, I won't. I can't. I shan't. Jalapenos. Just, it just goes up my... Ugh. Gives me the heebie-jeebies, it is what it does. You don't want the heebie-jeebies, do you? Oh, this is a proper carrier. Okay, interesting. A proper light carrier. Let's take a look and see what she is. Okay. It's not just a seaplane... I mean, uh, yeah, a seaplane tender like the Chitosi. All right. Could be the uh, no, it's not the Rio. Is it the uh, Zuiho? I think so. I think it's the Zuiho. Yeah. Yep, Zuiho. There we go. I have identified her and I got our solution going up to 84%, 86%. Let's prepare our full spread, one degree. Okay, we are sitting pretty. Go ahead and slow her down to nothing. All right. We're gonna, now we're going to wait. She's about uh, 11,000 yards out. I think that is outside of our range of effectiveness for our Mark 14s. Uh oh. Got a uh, scout out searching. Hopefully, he doesn't see the sub silhouette in the shallow water. So far, so good. Zero's out doing some patrol. <laughs> One aircraft downed. They crashed into the mountains. Must have been me flying. I like to look at these converted carriers. Interesting. All right, the ninety two percent. I'm going to go ahead and just turn on the propellers just a little bit so I can turn and get my uh, gyro down just a little bit. Oh, are they are they changing bearing? Just slightly. All right, let's uh, let's wait just a minute here. Okay. Pretty maids all in a row. Except they're not in a row, but it's okay. Up to 96%. Well, you reckon we're gonna make it? I reckon we will. Ready? 98% and fire. All right, fish are away. I'm gonna go ahead and get run silent, dive. I'm going to go ahead and turn to the right. I'm going to get out of here. All right, here comes the, here comes the old torps. The old penguins. They're coming in. Swimming as fast as they can. In this area here. 
I'm gonna get ready to slow. Alright, slow to one. And here comes the torpedoes. The Zoe help. About to get a taste of war. War as hell, my friend. Dud. Hit. Dud. Two hits. Two duds. Two misses. Alright. Well. Not a bad result. About what I would expect from uh, our torpedo armament. <clears throat> I would like to watch this guy just a little while and see what she, she does here. She's got heavy, heavy. If we can get the, uh, and they lost one aircraft. <laughs> That's hilarious. If we can get the old, uh, if the fires don't get under control, then mm, we might get a little more damage. Is the nine going right for us? We may have to make a run for it. To be as quiet as possible. Oh man, the, the fires do not look good on this girl. Do not look good. Looks like number nine does have a beat on us. Let's just watch it just for a second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on the engines and just change our bearing just a little bit here. See if we can creep away on the number nine. She's trolling. She's trolling the waters. If I go nice and slow, it should be all right. Yeah, she's she's looking with passive passive radar. It's a good looking ship. Cruisers trying to get into the action. Like, right, let me at them. <laughs> Hospital ships, like, uh, you guys need some help? I got uh, one or two doctors on board. Yeah, right. We know what you are. You're a fake. You're a fraud. And a failure. Guys are zigzagging like mad. They're circling. I don't know. I think number nine might know where we're at. Uh oh. I thought I hear a. I'm gonna turn towards him. I thought I heard a uh, ping. Let's get it off that broadside there. If we can. There we go. And I don't think we're going to get much else out of this Zuo. Zoeho. Looks like she's about got her all fixed up. Heavy, heavy still. Still got some internal fires. <clears throat> I don't want that number nine to get too close to us, so. Probably have to let her, let her go. Yeah, let's go ahead and retreat. Oh man, I would love to get a strike on this thing. Again, before she goes back to port. What are you doing? Does he know where I'm at? It's pinging. Tambor turned to the right. He's looking. He's looking hardcore, man. All right, I'm going to leave. <laughs> this is getting a little too, little too dangerous. Okay. A little too dangerous. All right, so we do know there are some fires on the Zoiho. And I'm sure she'll get those repaired, but uh, 
hopefully not uh, without paying the price. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move our entire task force back up here to uh, Rental Island. We are going to also grab an oiler from here to get some oil up to uh, Rental Island. Got two different oilers. This one's got 15.5 uh, speed, 18 speed. Smaller. How much how much oil do I need for uh, an upgrade here? So to get to a level two air field, I need 200 fuel, 200 engineering, 2,000 supplies. I could just go up to the 1,000. I mean the level one port because I'd like to get this up to level three port first to get you know be able to rearm my ships however I would also like uh, look at this I've got uh, I've got my first group of uh, guys here scouts this is dangerous very dangerous all right so hmm not sure what I'm gonna do yet I, I do need one of these uh, 15 for this one I, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these small uh, Patapsco Patapsco class oilers oops let me see okay. we get one of those and then uh, I do need another MS class C3 that's 12 13 all right this will be 18 points can I get anything for 10 points all right I can what about my favorite porters they're eight points okay how about the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Fletcher and these two fellas and uh, we're going to load them up with some cargo I want some fuel for you only 50 for him come on man that makes sense I think the other ones are a hundred so yes he'll have to make two runs that's okay because I you know using some is better than none right I mean here's how it goes all right so uh, the Fletcher could take a meager amount of points I mean uh, supplies I, I guess I will because the C3 is going to need to take supplies it needs to take engineering as well but we don't have enough supplies either oh but the other guy is taking supplies up right now so I'm going to go ahead and take the engineering okay all right so we got uh, we got engineering we got some fuel and then uh We'll go ahead and bring up some more supplies as well. Just a tiny, teeny tiny bit with the Fletcher. Okay. Let's bring them up. And uh, we're going to start ferrying up some more material for Rental Island. Hopefully to get, uh, hopefully to get this upgraded to uh, a higher, higher level. All right. I'm going to go ahead and unload the cargo here. Bink. All right. Nice. So we now have 4,000 troops and 5,343 supplies. That'll be great. This task force is coming up quickly. I'm, should I, I'm just going to go ahead and bring these guys back down without the task force, the full task force support, because I don't think we'll need it. I think we uh, won't need it this time around. <laughs> There's probably a sub in this area. Actually, I know there probably is because I sent, I saw that sub up here. No, wait, I got that sub. I didn't get this sub over here that uh, was in this area. So, speaking of which, let's do a few more scouts up here. Uh, Sunderland, let's do the Liberators. All right, now it's time for this group to unload their cargo. All right, their meager cargo. I'm going to go ahead and send up an air group of Lightnings to, uh, to escort these guys with rockets just as far as they can what task force is this 30 
they won't be able to go very far, but they can uh, they can escort it as long as they can. As long as they can. All right, it is now a new day. Air operations are now available. We are launching out all of our scouts, and we got enemy aircraft near Port Moresby again. So that I guess we're picking up their uh, aircraft patrols here. So I'm gonna go ahead and send up the lightnings again. I like the lightnings. I like them a lot. When I was a kid, I had a game called 1941, and it was a Pacific uh, air operations game. And then another one up here, nice. And uh, the P-38 was my favorite plane in that in that game. All right, here we go. Going into an engagement with the lightnings. Dawn patrol. Watch out for those mountains, bros. Matter of fact, why don't you just come on over <laughs> this way? Go ahead, go up to your ceiling there. All right, we got them. Got eyes on them. Where are they? We got key 43s. Yeah. Yes, we do. All right. Oh, they're gonna outturn us. Looks like. Come on, boys. Watch out! Watch out! Getting some hits on us. Yep, turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. Ugh, darn. Okay. Well, one down, one smoked. Okay. Alright, I got a, I think I got a hit on that guy. Let's see if I can make another run. He's turning on our buddies. Yeah, they are way more agile than us. All right, I'm making a making a run on this guy. Is he running for it? What's he doing? That guy's in trouble over there, our buddy. Oh, another lightning down. All right, here here's got one coming up on our friend here. If I got hits on him or not, I can't tell. In that range, I'm not a little bit far. A little far. I got hits that time. I saw him. Definitely got hits. Definitely got hits. All right. Bring her back around. Oh, no, that guy's in trouble. Yep, he's down. Got hits. His P-38s are not doing too good in this engagement. But I got them both. Alright. Woo! That was not a good trade. But, you know. Do what you can. Do what you can. Two for two. I wonder what, wonder what we got over here. Don't know. I'm going to go ahead and bring these guys up. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna RPG be these guys because they're likely in bad shape. Let's get these Zero Cobras up. P39s. Let's see what they can do. The Air Cobra wasn't the favorite of almost anybody. <laughs> I'm sure there were a lot of people that liked it, but I never cared for it. So I just assume nobody else did either. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Interestingly, the the engine for the P thirty nine is under the uh, it's in the fuselage here instead of being in the front. Sorry, very interesting, very interesting design. Look at this. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hit the ceiling. Hit the ceiling. U.S. Army. Come on, boys. Watch out! These aren't the Blue Angels, that's for sure. That's the Navy. Okay. 
Let's see what we got here. I don't even know what I'm up against. Probably more Key 43s. That's usually the land based aircraft. Alright, here we go. Got him. Nice. He down. It's just like IL2, my friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's nothing like that. Okay. It's like playing an Atari game. Oh no! Oh yeah, that was us. <laughs> that was us. Okay, good. Air Copers did a fantastic job. Fantastic. Where's my barrel row in victory? Can't do one. Okay, well. That's too bad. Alright. You guys got RTB. Fan freaking tastic. Ah, I saw something. Okay. Hold on. Saw something. So I'm over here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and launch a strike force from the Saratoga. We're going to launch our Dauntless with uh, armor piercing bombs. Launch all of them. Okay. We're going to have them circle and wait for the Saratoga to be able to launch more aircraft. Aha, yes. Light carrier, one battleship, two heavy cruisers. What, what do we got here? Let's go ahead and go into... No, it's not because it'll ruin the... It'll ruin the surprise. <laughs> Let me go ahead and launch another scout, if I can, to go keep an eye on this task force and wait for the Saratoga to be able to launch. All right. Oh, I better go and launch. They're, they're going to be short on fuel if I don't. No escorts, buddy. No escorts. What? Why are you disappearing? Ooh. The weather bad or something? Okay. Yeah, he's sending out combat air patrols, that's for sure. As as he should. A little bit too far to uh, launch an escort for the Dauntlesses, but I don't see any enemies. Uh, in the air at the moment, so hopefully we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and go into tactical with the SPDs. Get these kingfishers out of here. Just like so. Where's the boats? There they are. Mm, oh! Uh-huh. It's the wounded gal. Okay. It's the wounded gal. Zoe Hill. Alright, group one's gonna go after her. Actually, group one... Uh, is she still got heavy heavy? She looks like she's in bad shape. Yeah. I'm gonna drop one group on... Well, let's do two groups. Let's do two groups on... Zoeho, and then uh, these others are gonna go after this uh, battleship. Is this the Congo? Looks kind of like Congo. Let's see. I I'd like to know what I'm up against here. It's the Fuso, I think. Yeah, Fuso class. Okay. So Fuso is gonna get hit by and this guy. We are on a nice perpendicular run on these. That'll be good. This should uh, ensure the safety of our task force down there by getting this uh, battleship out. I don't know. Should I keep going after the battleship or should I try to target some of these cargo ships or cruisers? I don't want to hit one of these cargo ships. I better... Okay. I better hit at least one. Okay. Or two. Yeah, I'm going after... The, I'm going after the hospital ship. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm a bad person. Alright. Let's 
go. Go at it, fellas. It's maybe been a mistake not going after that carrier with stronger force. You know what? Uh, I'm changing my mind. We're going after the carrier. I just want to make sure I get it out of here. Alright, here we go. The groups are coming in. We're going to see lots of bombs dropped. Here we go. Drop it on the battleship and the courier. Oh god, yes. Yes! Nice. That battleship looked rough. Just took some big hits. Couldn't tell. I think this guy took some hits too. Oh. Last bit of bombs dropped there. Alright, that was pretty effective. I don't say so myself. Lost one dollars. Okay. Let them guys uh, get on out of here. Let's see what the tally, <coughs> the tally looks like here. Critical, critical on the carrier. Minor on number two. <laughs> the hospital ship. Um, battleship heavy, moderate. And moderate, moderate on the other uh, cargo ship. Okay. That carrier should sink. She's in bad shape. She is in bad shape. New new contact aircraft. There's the... Uh, we have found the... Uh, we have found the enemy... Yep, air cover. And they are angry. You get out of here this way. All right. There goes the, the carrier. Carrier's down. Battleship. She's going ten knots, <clears throat> but I don't think she's gonna sink. I don't think we'll get any more sinkages from anything else. Got three points from that carrier. Okay. Heavy damage on the battleship. Let's let's let the fires continue for a little bit and see what we get. As long as we don't uh, start losing airplanes, I think we'll be all right. Nah, they're not they're not paying attention to him. Holy crap! There's a lot. Oh, that's a lot of zeros. That's a lot of zeros. They don't have anywhere to land now. Too bad for them. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy amount of zeros. I want you guys to go up this way. Up that way. I think she's gonna be all right, probably. She's probably gonna be all right. She's got our fires out. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. Yeah, she's got all the fires out. Let's go ahead and retreat. All right. Pretty successful run. Pretty successful run. The Saratoga, can she launch again? Almost, almost. But that's gonna be about it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and hit that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.